So in this video, I'm going to talk about some optional modifications you can make to this top frame. So there are some pros and cons to using this individual uh, frame type, the DJI 450. The, the main pro is it's, it's super cheap. It's like, you know, $18 for a pretty good frame. But the con is that this top plate might not actually perfectly align with the mounting holes on your drone's frame. And without making any modifications, you might have to bend this top plate and kind of warp it a little bit to allow your mounting holes to align with the mounting holes on the drone frame. And the more you have to bend the frame, the more the drone might wobble a little bit when it's all put together. It might not be perfectly level. Now that isn't the end of the world. Your drone will still fly. And this, is, this recommendation is really only if you are a perfectionist and small little errors like that bother you. But you only have to, you know, bend this plate to align these mounting holes on the top plate with the uh, mounting holes on the drone's frame. And what you can do to uh, not have to bend the top plate as much is take a little drill bit. I used a um, 5 by 32 inch drill bit, and I, I would advise you to use that size. And to just drill into the pre-configured holes and to make them a little bit bigger and obviously use a drill. But that was able to let me align the holes of the top plate with the holes of the bottom plate a little more easily without having to bend this top plate. And since I didn't have to bend the top plate as much, the drone was basically level on flat, a flat surface. Okay, now it's finally time to install the top plate with our Raspberry Pi and Navio to the top of our drone. Now, one thing to be aware of, we will look at here at the Navio, See that arrow here is pointing towards the front of the drone. So however we point this Raspberry Pi, that's going to determine the front of the drone. And again, since I have drilled some holes, some larger holes into the pre-configured holes of the top plate, now I am more um, easily able to align this top plate so that I don't have to bend the top plate to screw in to the mounting brackets. Now if we used method one for securing our Raspberry Pi and Navio to the top plate, then this will be a very straightforward process. We will just place the top plate onto the drone frame. And since the arrow is pointing forward, now we have indicated here that our white arms are the front two arms and our red arms are the back two arms. And we'll simply take our screws that came with the drone kit and we will screw them through the top plate and into the threaded sockets of each arm. Having three screws into the arms or even two screws going through the top plate into the arms will be just fine for securing the top plate to the drone. If we secured the flight controller to the top plate using method two and we have some screws on the bottom well, those screws are actually going to get in the way of these arms here. So what we're going to need to do is take these 10 or I think 8 millimeter spacers and we're going to put those all on the drone. I would also advise you to only put these spacers here in the back two slots of the arms. That is because these spacers don't screw in all the way on the front two slots. So you'll have some spacers that are a little taller in the front and a little um, shorter on the back. And that'll make it a lot more difficult to try and screw in your top plate. But I've found that the top plate is just, it's just fine. It's, it's very secure with having just these two points to mount the top plate to on each arm. And we'll screw them through the top plate into those spacers and it'll be secured just like it was intended to be. And it will get secured. The more you tighten these screws 
from the top plate to your drone frame, the more your leg is going to start to bow up a little bit. So you want these to be, you know, tight enough to where the plate is secure, but not too tight to where your legs are starting to bow up a little bit. One thing I would advise you to do would be to not tighten each screw into the brackets individually when the other screws aren't in. So I would put the screws in all of the mounting points and tighten them just slightly. And then once the screws are in every single slot, then start tightening them up a little bit. All right, so now our Navio and top plate are secured to our drone's frame.